For anybody watching, uh, this is our general CVP waveform. And uh, so we're gonna kind of run through it. I will be honest, I really hate mnemonics. Uh, they were good, I think, in medical school and primary school and stuff when I was just learning about it. So I think really understanding kind of what's going on is the best way to understand this stuff. And so you kind of see I've drawn our sample heart down here. We're really gonna be focusing on the right side. And then the equation that I always kind of come back to uh, remembering that pressure is proportional to one over volume is kind of like the most important thing as far as this goes. And really what the tracing is showing us is the changes more or less, not entirely, but kind of volume-ish of the right side of the heart, mainly the right atrium and the SVC. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, get started. So the first thing that's here uh, is our A wave. And that's like our first big jump. And some people just remember this by remembering A for atrial contraction, but that's what's happening here is the atria is contracting. And so our heart is gonna start squeezing down during diastole to eject blood into the right side uh, the right side of ventricle. So our pressures are gonna go way, way up because as you, as the right atria squeezes and contracts, the pressure goes up because the volume inside it essentially goes down. So you squeeze all of that blood into the right side of the ventricle and your pressure goes way, way up. So the next thing is our C wave. And so our pressure should, like it does, go up and then it drops as the right atria empties. So what I think about the C wave is, so the question is really, why is the pressure inside the right atrium going up again shortly afterwards, right? And so this is kind of why the drawings I think are important. So I kind of think of it like this, even though it's probably not entirely correct, but when the right ventricle squeezes, contracts, Remember, there's a stage of isovolumetric contraction. So imagine that the ventricle squeezes and the tricuspid valve is closed. And so it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna bulge initially before and probably even during ejection from the right ventricle, it's gonna bulge up into the right atrium. And as a result, same thing over here, your pressure goes up because your, ventric uh, your volume within this available space goes down. So the atria contracts is our A wave. Then we get a drop in pressure because it empties. Then the ventricle contracts and it pushes that tricuspid valve back up into the atria. And so your pressure jumps up again. Then what happens? Oh, I forgot I have an eraser. Well, once our ventricle begins to empty again, there's less pressure here and the tricuspid valve can again relax and it almost dips back down into the ventricle. And as a result, our pressure drops because our volume within the right atrium and within this central venous pressure, volume goes up, the pressure drops. Super, super simple. Next step, Oh, I'm sorry, I should probably write these in. So our C was our, um, our I'm just gonna put it bulging of tricuspid valve into RA. And then our X descent is when the tricuspid valve and the atria relax and increase right atrial volume. So I hope this is making sense so far. And we have two more parts. So during V, our right atria, this is early diastole, is starting to fill with blood again. And as it fills with blood, the pressure begins to rise. Super straightforward. And then the kind of very last part of this is the Y descent. Now, um, we'll say right atria fills with blood. So the pressure goes up because you're filling that area with something. And then our Y, 
which is the last descent. Uh, if anybody guessed or you know knows offhand, why is the pressure going to immediately drop again? Well, the tricuspid valve opens and gravity is going to allow most of this blood to just fall out into the right ventricle. And then after that, we start all over again, just like before, A, the atria contracts and the pressure shoots up once more. And this is pretty much it.